today we are going to do just a smidge. So, so there, a little U. We're not going to make a circle. All right. Um, we're going to discuss immigration, um, possible solutions, why we should be talking about it. A little bit of both. Okay, a little bit of both. Um, you read about U.S. immigration and how it changed and evolved, and you did that timeline. Now that was about, you know, legal immigration, but the last thing talked about illegal immigrants. Immigrants. Do you remember how many there are in the United States? Like almost 12 million, like 11.1 or something like that million illegal immigrants. So the thing you read about was legally how did we have um, different groups from different countries come into the United States. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit more about the illegals than the legal immigration um, and possible solutions and then you're going to write a letter um, that we may submit, we're going to write it first and proofread and all that good kind of stuff, to um, President Obama. We're going to tell them we're discussing this issue and these are our opinions and you are going to be a voting aid for the next election and so we'd like to sway um, politicians. Okay, so we're going to go with that. So, um, again, we want your thoughts and your opinions. Remember to be very respectful of each other's opinions. Um, we're going to talk about what should be done, what can be done, and why should anything be done at all. Okay, maybe we just stick with what we've got. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I have strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and strongly agree in front of the room. So each of these statements, I want you to pick how you feel and go to that area and then we're going to discuss. When you say immigrants, do you mean illegal or legal? Any. Any, any and all. Any and all. Well, okay. you could go either way. No, it means all. Legal and illegal. It just means immigrants well, generically. You feel the legal or okay, but the illegal yeah. are. We're just, we're going to, we're going to group them. So go you've got to say, okay, so go to where you feel you are on this particular topic. I could be like in the middle, like neutral, I might have switched I didn't give you a this is more. This is more based on the illegal. Okay, and, and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to talk about it and tell me why, okay? All right, so, in our small little class, we, we, Looks like we have the majority that strongly agree or agree with this statement. So why did you strongly agree, Aaron? Because of the illegal immigrants. Okay, so you're focusing more on the legal or the illegal. Um, any issues with the legal immigrants at all? No. Come in droves, come thousands by thousands. Let them all in. There has to be a limit. Okay, keep a limit. But it's fine. But you're okay with that. Okay? Again, if you have a comment or an argument, especially you disagree people, you may want to bring it up now. You don't have to wait for your turn. All right, agree people. Um, why is it that you agree, maybe not strongly agree or disagree? You had to have some reason for your choice. Don't just say one there because that was the majority. <laughs> um, there's not an overwhelming amount of... Um, it's not too overwhelming, but there's a little overwhelming problem you should have, but it's not like in your face, everyone's going to hurt. Okay. We have more illegal than we should probably have. Okay, so if this was changed, the statement was changed to illegal, maybe your opinions might I'm change? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, we live in Iowa. Do you think people in Arizona, Texas, Florida have those same ideas that there's not too many immigrants? Probably not. Because no, they're bigger. Okay, maybe because they're a bigger state. Why else? They're on the border. Border. Because they're right there by the border. They're going to be you know, you get the majority <coughs> of all the immigrants. You get Mexico uh, and Cuba. Yeah. You know, I mean, we might get the ones on the farm, but other than that, I mean, <laughs> they're going to gonna go to the, the next state and just stay there. Okay, and that's, that's proven to be the fact. If we looked at a map, which we will do, of where immigrants have settled in the United States, when you read about where people came from, what drew people to the Midwest? Like the factory work. The farming, cheap the farming, right? Cheap farmland. That was why people came. And that's probably why people stay now. They might not be in farming, but maybe they work for a farm-related industry. Like the Postville thing? Oh, yeah. Postville. 
Yeah. Good, good example. Or if you work for um, IBP, you know, that, that's an agricultural based factory. All right, moving on. Uh, anything else you want? You guys disagree? You, you chimed in a little bit? I said I disagreed because there wasn't enough immigrants because people are still coming. So obviously there's still more room. So apparently we're doing something right that people want to come here. Okay, we're doing something right. And so you think we got we to gotta slow it down. Otherwise <laughs> it's going to be overpopulation or other issues. Yeah. Okay, what issues might there be besides overpopulation? I, I feel like there's um, a lot of them come from like war situations where they have to like flee the country. Yeah. These are scared of getting killed. Okay, and that's, yeah. but who would be a good example of that? Bosnians. Okay. Um, for some reason right now we have a lot of Burmese immigrants coming to Waterloo area as well. So they're, they're also kind of settling in this area. So that's kind of the newest immigrants since the Bosnians. All right, the next one. The U.S. government should put more immigration and naturalization service border patrol agents on the border with Mexico. Move to where you feel. And they should put more people on patrol. All right, you're the only one that's nope, staying. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so what, what's your point of view? Why would this not be a good thing? I'm disagreeing to that because I don't feel like paying more taxes for them to do it. Okay, that's definitely going to cost. Good point. I mean, you can't just do that for free. Good idea, but it's going to cost money. I think there's other ways to prevent people from coming over the border. Like, even if you don't hit it, like, stop right there at the border, there's other ways that it'll come up and catch you. Okay. Agree and strongly agree. We have a majority over here. What do you guys think? Charlie, you're kind of quiet over there? Yeah. I think I think they I don't know about like patrol agents like actually like putting people on there or, or like maybe like putting more like fences and like other equipment there, not just people. Okay. It's more things it does, uh, there. It would create more jobs, though, if you like, yeah. hire more yeah. patrol people. Okay, so, yeah, and it might more cost like, more, but more we like, might have more jobs. Good good point. You do, like, more, like, uh, industry, like, you know, would be jobs the weapons and the, the vehicles and stuff. That's right. We probably wouldn't have illegals working on the border, would we? No. What else? You were going to say something, Sean? Well, I don't think patrol agents is, like, the best option because of everything, but it has its pros and cons. Okay, so you think it might be yeah. useful. That, that's why you did agree, strongly agree. Kind of, you guys just stay in where you're comfortable, right? <laughs> no moving. Well, I kind of agree with Charlie. Their patrol agents might not be the best thing, but there needs, to, needs be to be something, a little something more. Or so you like, put like the maybe National Guard down there. Maybe, yeah, like, maybe, like, like, maybe, maybe do fences yeah, with for like their training, they can go down there. So it's they like. Because yeah. they can just come as they wish, and we don't know like what they're bringing over or what their plan to do once they get over here is. And if they plan something like in Boston, like bombings, okay. I mean that can not only kill people that, but that can put people out of work. Okay. So are they immigrating here for good things or evil things? It all depends, right? Why do most people want to come to the United States? Jobs. Freedom. Jobs. Freedoms. Mm -hmm. Opportunities. opportunities. Those are the main reasons, but you're right. People don't always like Americans. All right, next statement. Illegal immigrants take away jobs from U.S. citizens. Move where you, you believe. <laughs> wow, going from one extreme to the other. Okay, you're sticking with agree. You're not going all the way over, so why not, Emily? Well, because there's some jobs that... Um, I think people that are needing a job will go and say, well, I'm not going to do that. And sometimes legal immigrants or people that are immigrants do do that, like uh, roofing or farming or things like that. And it just, it kind of depends on what the job need is. Sometimes people that already live here say no. Okay. I strongly agree, people. Right. Piggyback off what Emily had to say. Like I kind of... I like have an idea like what Durst is gonna say, but like <laughs> don't I'm don't sure. think no, 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 like, 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 sure I can agree right. with him somewhat. Like they're gonna take jobs, but not like high paying jobs. Like they're gonna take stuff at like grocery stores and like the factories jobs. and stuff like yeah. that, just because it's easy and they don't have to like know. Like they can learn it real quick, you know, and like it's easy. Yeah. Any other 
What I'm Can saying you? is they do take jobs away, but for the people that complain they don't have a job, they're obviously not looking hard enough if they're not going to take a job that they don't want to do. Good point. Well, I disagree kind of with that. It's like, what well, one person may not take, another person may take. And if the immigrants are coming and taking that, then somebody who desperately needs that job may not have the opportunity to get that job. Right. Because... You might not take that job, but someone might. Yeah, somebody that may have kids to take care of or debts to pay off or something. It's like they might take it just because one or two people don't take it. Doesn't mean everybody is not going to be willing to take the undesirable job. Right, the dishwasher. Well, but, but the... think about it though. It's like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes if people don't fill those jobs, they're going to stay open. There's lots of jobs that have stayed open for years because nobody wants that job. And so you, just, you can't just wait around for the right person to come fill it. You gotta give somebody else an opportunity. And, and they're all valid points. So is this where you're feeling? To this statement? That's where we're at? Alright, you two. Why are you strongly disagree with this? People are lazy in the U.S. They don't want to go out and do the jobs where you have to go out and do manual labor. You, they just want to sit at home and work at home or, or sit in an office. And if they can't get that job, then they don't want to go out to the farm or anything. They don't want to do the hard work. Americans want to make money not work. Americans want to make money and not work. I did like a research project in my class about minimum wage or whatever. Right. It's saying that like, like the U.S. now is uh, what's the word? Entitlement or whatever, I they think it should be given to them. Not enough people go out and get it. I mean, if they're willing to go out and get it, and they deserve it. I mean, a leeway where it's like you know, you're a leeway. You should probably get your car. Or you should probably go through the right yeah. steps. But that's, but, that's but why Emily, I stayed with the group. But Emily is right. I mean, it, yeah, are you going to keep this job open, waiting for that legal citizen? Or are you going to go? You know what? We got to get these crops picked now. We can't wait. See what? To what's so hard to just go get your car? It's not just like What's so hard thing? to go out to and go I pick know, some well, corn yeah, off the field or something? Yeah, it's not, it's going out and getting I mean, if you, want, least, if you need a job, you need a job. It's time to start the... Yeah, that's why ironically, I ironically, based on that, um, this was yeah. in uh, the Des Moines Register on Thursday, yeah. and it talked about the two main um, solutions for illegal immigration. Is One is to um, build that fence and, and man it. The other one is give them this... Um, 13 year process to become a citizen. 13 year process. Okay? And and so this is, you know, their path to citizenship. Um, at the end today, we're going to take um, a citizenship test. So we'll see how hard it would be. Now, there, there, there are only 10 questions. We'll see how well you guys do. Okay? All right, next one. U.S. immigration policy has been fair to all groups entering the U.S. Think about what you read and when you did that timeline. I'm going to say... Okay, move, no. move where you need to move. I'm going to say... I'll do the office. I'll say green okay. tip because everybody's going to know that. Are they going to email me? Because she said... I don't know if they remember oh. what we read, but... Um, I said I was going to sit are you talking the desk. About, are you guys on the disagree? You're not on the strong. I'm on the disagree. Are you talking about, like... Like legal oh, wow. or like strong. just yeah, that's strong. That's why I said, are you sure you want to be here? All right. So we have one outlier. Let's go there first, Jordan. I'm saying agree because the, you got to have some kind of diversity. I mean, everybody needs to be equal for the most part, for the most power. So who they say no to, or how many people they say no to, there's a reason behind it, not just because they don't. Want to. Okay. So what do you remember from reading, from the timeline? Who did they exclude? Who did they include? Who did they encourage? No, they, they, start with they excluded who? Asians. Asians for a while, the Oriental Exclusion Act, mm -hmm. yep, where they had 120,000 people limit from the Eastern Hemisphere, which of course is where um, Asians would be from. What else, Aaron? They like promoted the Western. They did. Because they allowed 170,000 people to immigrate from that part of the world. Okay, what else? Any other things that you realize that they allowed, they didn't allow, they limited? I noticed that they changed laws, like, after a certain group would have, like, a big push of people, then they would change laws and say, okay, well, we're going to put a limit on that. So they kind of took action after it happened. Right, maybe they got too many and they wanted to be fair to all, so they, they had Was to... Was there something with Ireland? Did they do Ireland, well, Ireland came here because of the potato famine. 
about two million people came here because their economy went down and so they thought this was a land of opportunities. All right, that was a pretty easy one. If a country is having economic problems, the U.S. should allow its residents to come here for a better life. Yeah. Okay, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you feel? Yeah. Start moving. If a country is struggling economically, I guess maybe we should maybe throw in war, because that would definitely interfere with the economy. Now, are you guys just lazy because you want to stay in my um, yeah, I'm, I'm chair? Very, or is that really where you feel? The economy is not great. True, but it's a lot better than other yeah. countries. All right, so we have to. Is there like a middle here? I just want to go down. We, we have Ms. Quali? Yes. Can you send Jordan Scott to the office? Yeah. I will. Thank you. Don't be so mean. All right, so we have agree people. Give me, give me your why. Why are you feeling that way? Well, we have certain policies here that we have freedoms here. And I think if we're going to be fair to everyone, then we should give them the right for their freedom, which a lot of people come to the United States to have freedom of religion or freedom of what to say. So why not, you know, have a better life? Okay, why do you think most immigrants came here in the first place? Freedom. Opportunities, freedom, better life. If what they're having, kind of? like, if they're from a place where they're being persecuted because of their race, their religion, you know, all that stuff, they should be able to come and have a better life other than being just, you know, persecuted, thrown in jail, you know, tortured even, just because they do one thing different. What's so bad about letting them come? and have a better life, get their citizenship to start with, and have a better life. Okay, um, let's, let's turn the tape. Yeah, please. Get something on top of this. You know, you talk, you say how freedom from, say freedom from persecution in other places, but if you bring all those people here, don't you think other people are going to, you know, say things about them also? Okay, so yeah, to just get them out of your country, let's keep picking on them, and then they'll finally leave and go to the United States, and then we won't have to worry about them. Well, like, look at it. Well, no, then people in the United States will leave, well, you know, look at Mexican people. You know, well, oh, they're stealing all our jobs and all of that. Well, okay, so that's they'll be what persecuted in our own country. Well, I have something to say to that. Like, in China, people don't have the right for religion. Like, if they speak out, like, on Christianity, if they proclaim their love for Jesus, they get shot. If they come here, they have the freedom of religion, so they're not going to get shot and persecuted for being a Christian. There's other places to go. <laughs> there are <laughs> other places, saying, there's there other are places, places to go. Places to go. <laughs> Let, let's turn the examples. tables. What if it was us in the United States? Our economy is so bad, we want to go to Canada now. Totally We'd want to get out of here. I mean, if we would want to do the Turn table. the tables. <laughs> How do you feel? Should you be allowed to go to Canada? Yes, yeah, so you should have I'm the freedom to do as you please, so that to. that gives them the same freedom. Okay. What else, Charlie? What? Did, what we were else? just talking about yeah. how, like, a couple of years we might, we might have to. I you mean, think our economy is going to be that bad? Yeah, I don't know about that bad, yeah. but I mean. You you need to travel outside of the country to get a better perspective of yeah. how bad. Okay, I guess Canada's question. Really what about the Koreans said they're going to come here to one day Canada. war? Please. They said they would come here and it would be a one day war and they would win. Yeah. Because, like, come on. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way, there's no way. How many people, how many people from Greece have, have, like, left since yeah. their You know, that's a good question. I don't know, because that, of their economy, yeah. I, you know, I don't Where think would they even go? No. They would go to another European what? country, it would be like more Green than likely. Britain? But, good? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I don't know how many people have decided to leave those countries that are struggling. Yeah. And again, our struggles, we have to put that in perspective. Um, if you know what the value of the dollar is compared to other countries' money, you know how well our economy is in the world economy. Maybe it doesn't feel good here, but... Well, Greece brought the euro down significantly. Significantly. All right, so let's move on. Number six, immigration has helped the United States. Oh, man. Legal and illegal <laughs> has helped the United States. Oh. I'm going to be in the middle. 
and you're getting so lazy. I just feel like sitting down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, you're so tall, you don't want to stand out too much. Okay, so where's the line here for the agree and disagree people? You're in agree? Yeah, I'm okay, agree. Okay, you're in agree. All right, so we're all on this side. Jordan probably be over here. Right? He, probably. <laughs> he just likes to be controversial. So why are we strongly agreeing with this? What, what are your points? Agreeing with uh, legal. Yeah, half the things in our, like our government and everything is from, you know, people so I'm going to get smarter if that keeps happening. What truly is American? Hamburgers. No. no. Hamburg, it's Germany. Foreign Hamburg, Germany is where the first yeah. original. I don't know. But what tell is how German? many people in the United States versus everyone else, how many people are actually Native Americans that live the same way they did when Columbus came over? That's true American. Everything right. else is immigration. I don't believe any of us fall into that category, would we? So we, are we really American? Well, we're we're American. immigrants, we're right? Are you going to say American is like we are not from the start America, or is it going to be like present day America, where it's like we're American, we're all American, we may not all have the same like, cultural backgrounds, but we're all American. Exactly. So America, realize it's pretty new. Right? It's a yeah. pretty new country. When you're talking about, you know, Greece, for example, you know, they were around in ancient times, in BC times. Um, the United States, not. You know, I mean, we're just a couple hundred years old, and so we are very young. So really, what is American? It's a blend. That's what we were built on. Okay, so agree. Why, why didn't you guys go over to strongly agree? What was your beef with being strong? I like to think of us as like a fantasy team, you know? A fantasy <laughs> team. Okay. Just, you know, like, you mix it all together. You get a little bit of everything to be yeah, better. Exactly. America is a melting like base, pot, basically. It's like, well, it's, it's like, yeah, it's it like when you're playing a video game and you turn on the, what's it called? Fantasy draft. Yeah. You get to pick whoever you want. You yeah. Get yeah. Tom Brady, <laughs> <and> Andrew <laughs> Peterson, <laughs> yeah. Greg Jennings. Okay, I don't know if you could get all of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your first yeah. two, three rounds. <laughs> three rounds, man. That would be pretty that's hard. Good. That's good. But, okay, so, yeah. But let's get this way, you people, to get to the strongly agree. Or will you not? I could go either way. Because. I mean, because there's positives and negatives to it. When you look at the positives about how it has shaped our laws and how how um, it's shaped our laws and how our country is kind of built on immigration and the effects of it, and I don't know. I think it kind of it kind of plays into how we accept people, how we don't accept people. Immigration's a big thing, but it's also hurt it. Well, I like it because it shows us like cultural differences. Well, I like it too. It makes it, it makes it hurt us. us. <laughs> well, it has greatly helped the United States because of their cultural differences. Like, it helps us to not be so judgmental to other people's culture and ethnic background, necessarily, because it's what we're surrounded by. It's what we're used to by now. So if we have, say, a new person or a new family that wants to come, people are going to be more willing to accept them because they've grown up around it, they've known it, so they kind of know their background. Okay, so let's put this into perspective of, we're going to be talking about racism and discrimination in the United States. Good point. We are very open to differences, but have we always, and are we today, do we have racism and discrimination yeah. today? Yeah. Yes. yes. Who do you think we would isolate or pick on today? Here in Iowa or just Well, like in the United States. Okay. Yeah. Muslims, Arabs, and anybody Middle that East. seems like yeah. they're from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And again, 50 years ago, who did we pick on? Asians. Blacks. Blacks. Yeah. Blacks. And uh, honestly, anybody that wasn't anybody white. That wasn't, <laughs> anybody that wasn't, wasn't white. white. Right? You were discriminated. You, you were. And, and still are, to a degree. So we're going to be talking about all those things. Like with the name, like, <clears throat> there's like a negative to it, too, like... It's not so much now, but like they used to like bring over like diseases and stuff, like, mm -hmm. and like you could say like today maybe like drugs and things like that. Like, that Depending on where you're the from. Bad side of it, but. And, and again, there are some some negatives because of stereotypes and, and racism. Again, new group Burmese coming to Waterloo. Are they going to blend in? Are they going to fit in? Are they going to feel discriminated? Ooh. Well, they're not going yeah, to they're 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 be as discriminated against as if maybe we, it was just a fully white population where maybe in some towns if you have 
a fully white population and like a black family wants to come, they might not be as accepting. Right. But because Waterloo has so many different ethnics, then they're going to be more accepting to whoever wants to come. Right. And say they'd be, well, they'd be accepted. I hope you're talking about immigration. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right. Right. We'll, we'll share. Oh, no, I was like, we're telling what I know from Oh, from a movie. Here we go. We'll go oh, from the movie. Like, that, 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 that new Rambo movie, movie like, is based on Burma. Like, yeah. Like, there's like um, that genocide. And, 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 and again, why would they come to Iowa? Because Bob There's Iowa's not full of friends with Bob. You know, Iowans are pretty welcoming. I mean, as white so as we are, we're pretty nice. Um, you go to other places where, you know, they're very... Um, you know, they like Chinatown, for example. I mean, there's a reason there's a Chinatown. There's a reason why those ethnic groups kind of group all together. Are you gonna join us again? Yeah. Sure. In a little bit. Sure. No, he's good. I was just, I was just listening to the debate. Okay. Good. All right. So let's move on. Having a variety of cultures and languages in America benefits everyone. This one kind of piggies back off the other one. So move where you believe. All right, most of us are on this side. I knew, Steve. I knew I could come in for being different. <laughs> what? What? All right, so what? you two, why why are you either strongly or, or just disagreeing? I disagree because you know it does have cultures and languages, but at the same time, for like if you're gonna have a job, what good does it do you if you have a job and your boss speaks a different language than you and you can't understand a word he's saying? Try and have a making progress unified yeah. language. What else? That's what I was saying. Is like, are you really making progress there? And that, and does it really benefit everybody? Does it benefit everybody? No, that's well, a that's well, a big statement. Not even saying everybody, like every single person. Everybody, you should know. Everybody, like, you you know. Are you going to say that? Okay, hold on, Mitch. Are you going to sit down and learn Vietnamese? You could. You could. It sounds cool. If you want, if you want to understand your boss, I'm sure you. If you come to America, you better know. Okay, have, have any of you traveled to another country? Yes. No. no. Where have you been? Jamaica. Okay, they speak English. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Okay, do you know Spanish fluently? Yeah. No. Like if you had to live there, could you survive? No. But you not. still went there and you traveled. What if you went there and traveled and you just, just oh, love this? I'm never going home again. Most people know English, though. I'm just saying, you guys have that opportunity, but. We're very he, arrogant about that too. We, we won't are. Learn, we won't learn any other languages. We, if you don't speak American or English, <laughs> then we're, we're just gonna. <laughs> we don't want to talk to you. And, and I gotta tell you, uh, the more you travel outside of the country, the more you're gonna yeah. know this. It's True. Like if, you, if, if you're British. Yes. yes. Well, how many languages do you speak? Uh, two. Two. And what are those languages? Uh, Arabic and English. Arabic and English. Now, yeah. if you want to guarantee yourself a job, especially in the military. Arabic would be your choice, not Spanish. Spanish is good and convenient. Um, so what, what are your views then about this? What? I cannot have an official position <laughs> oh, because I'm we, in uniform at a school. We won't tell anybody. We it's promise. on camera. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> promise. Be aware of my surroundings. Got that's there. right. That's right. Um, Speak in Arabic, please. I, what? Speak in Arabic. What do you want me to say? I don't know. We love you sociology know. class. There you go. We love sociology class. Yes. <laughs> sociology class doesn't really translate. Okay. But it's we love school. There you go. We hate no. Uh, <laughs> we love school. This is pressure. It is. It's been a while. Um, it'd be something like it's yalap this it's yalap don it's yalap don. It's like, it translates to love up school. There you go. Arabic doesn't really. It doesn't. Doesn't translate directly to English, so. Right. Tough. And not all languages do either, but we try to literally do everything. Yeah, we do. That's pressure, people. That's really pressure. That's very good. All right. Um, once you've traveled outside of the country, you might have a different opinion on this because. Um, Ethnocentrism is that belief that we are better than everybody else, and people travel to other countries, move to other countries to work. My sister-in-law worked in Europe. Um, she was in Germany. She did not know German at all. Why then is it okay for us to do that? 
get other people to come here and they don't speak English and they needed to. If there's a war in their country, are they going to take time to learn a language no. before no. they get out? No. no. I think Probably. it's kind of a respect, like respect standards thing. Like America really doesn't have any other standards to come here and be like, oh, you don't have to adopt our religion, you don't have to believe what we believe, but you have to speak English. You have to pay tax. That, that's the one thing. Tax. Tax. Yeah. Speak English. That's pretty yeah. much the two things. The two things, yeah. yep. And when I was in Europe, I'll tell you, older Americans are, are really resistant to that whole idea and have that. I